Good morning. Today we will talk about blade setters. This is the Andis blade setter made for the T-Outliner blades. Here's a T-Outliner blade right here. And this is not a name brand T-Outliner blade. This is a Fairlux. Okay. I haven't gotten a lot of use out of this. So far, I'm not really thrilled with them. But they're like probably 25 cents of the price. I think I got two of them for like $10 shipped. Whereas one and this blade, this is GTX, they're like $18, $19. So good bit of difference. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really used enough to really form that much of an opinion. Initial impressions aren't great. But also, what I've been using it on has kind of been a little bit of a different story. So, um, I've been using it like on a modification kit. And I just don't think the hole in this is the same as it is for the metal blade. Because this is also a modification kit. And, and it fits much better in the metal blade. Alright, that being said, we're here to talk about the blade setters. So... <clears throat> This is the GTX blade with the wider area, you know, the longer teeth and everything. There's all kind of variations you can get. And, you know, some people get what they call the crunch uh, blade. It's smaller teeth. You can put ceramic cutters in there. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff you can do with this. So it really just boils down to preference. But people want to set and align properly so you get a nice, clean, crisp cut. So they utilize a blade setter. Now this one... It's kind of unique in how it works in that so what you would do on any of these turn the camera screws here dummy where people can see you loosen up these two screws that way your cutting blade is free to move up and down see that okay you, you don't want a lot I mean realistically you're moving it millimeters all right, so then you're going to take the device. These two notches are for your two holes. You're going to put it in there. And it's kind of spring-loaded. So, make sure I've got it ready to do. There we go. you got to push down and bring it over. So what it's doing, it's setting in this little groove pocket right there all right so then you put your cutting blade in there you run your screws up to it and you can even lock it into place with this and tighten your screws down all right works really well uh it's probably about 25 dollars or so this is the rich barber brand Okay, this one works pretty well. I wish you could still get a hold of the ones they made for Wall. Apparently, Wall had some lawsuit or something. I don't know, but they were here and they were gone that quick. I never got one. Um, I had, when I first started, I had pretty much one of every blade that I had. Then I decided, you know, let a few things go. Things I wouldn't use anyway. That's not relevant to anything. This is for the T-Outliner. And I was using this and this to try and set my GTX. Kept getting really, really close, but it was just pushing it over the line just a little bit. I kept getting cuts and everything else. So I broke down and I got the GTX setter. And yes, there is a difference. I, it's got to be minimal. But there is a difference, I guess, in the overall, in the length. So whenever you're, you know, whenever you're setting these blades, if you only have, you know, this much room to work in, you're going to overset. So you've got to have a longer bracket to hold that GTX steel blade. That way you can align that cutting blade with it just fine. So, very long-winded way to say there is a difference between the regular uh, T-Outliner blades and the GTX um, <clears throat> blade setters. So if you have GTX grab you the yellow one and you'll be set no pun intended really about all i have on that today if you got any questions or whatever let me know you can find these things anywhere now i will tell you this 
obviously these are like two different generations uh this is you know at the time when the whole thing was one color and this was the black one and then they had all blue so now they're going to move just a stripe um i didn't have any issues with this nor this one but i did have like two or three of the rich barber blade setters that were not good they were it's like as soon as they moved production to china or whatever they had some quality control issues and the blades were setting like this and everything else uh, they took care of them and you know but it did take a while uh, their customer service at the time i think his wife or girlfriend or something was handling the emails and was just taking forever to get in touch with anyone but as soon as i got a response uh it was, it was handled and um, I was sent a replacement, uh, whatever you know, the case may be. That was, we're talking several, several years ago. So let there be no reflection of anything. I'm just saying at one time there were some faulty blade setters out there. You would think it would be pretty easy to set, but I guess if you know they're injection molded, what have you, if that is off kilter just a wee bit, or you know the blade or whatever that's cleaning it out isn't quite making a good clean cut, then you're going to have a little bit of issue there but this one's been you know fine no problems at all so has this one no problems at all uh, definitely you know recommend buying them um this one <clears throat> so i like this okay but i don't know that everyone would reason being i don't even know if these are supposed to be gtx or just regular i think they're standard so we'll use a standard one and it's just as simple as snapping that in there Man, I can't see. I gotta get better filming here. You snap it down in there, okay? And to remove it, you boom. There you go. That's what they give you that for. So you put your teeth down in there, squash that down, okay? Put your cutter on there, rom it up there real good, and then you and then you're set. Simple as that. I don't know. Did that take 10 seconds? It's supposed to be the 10 second blade setter. That probably took 10 seconds or less. Rewind it, time it. We'll see. But essentially that blade is now set. Um, what were we going to say about that? Oh, by comparison, I mean like, I don't know. I think it holds it pretty good. So do you, do you really need this? This is a cool design. So I like the pushing it up and locking it in. It feels real snug and secure. I like that. What I don't like is you literally only have this little ledge for your blade to rest on. That's it. Like, so if it were a little bit longer, maybe, I don't know. And you got all this empty space down here, which is useless. It's effective, albeit rather pointless in some areas. So, I mean, at this time, that's it um in the middle of changing out some blades to the uh this is the hitter with the andis blade courtesy of elite clopper elite clopper mids yes um they're not as good as elite clipper mods though so if i were you i would go to elite clipper mods and get my stuff here um i said courtesy of i mean no i bought it myself so Nah, nobody sent me anything like that so um but i've enjoyed the company those guys are great so if you're wanting to use the andis blades on you know the evo which is you know really uh fun tool to use you can do now do that so it's good to have those options that that's kind of the cool thing about gamma and stylecraft is you can use both wall and andis blades on their items now well Back up. You cannot use wall cutting blades on their clippers. At least I haven't been able to effectively. Um, you can use wall guards. Okay, but to put a wall blade on there, the cutting blade cut out inside. This little piece right here on a wall clipper blade, not this. Just for example, the cutting blade, the little hole that the piece clips into from gamma to wall is a good bit different. It'll go, but it'll rattle like crazy, so it doesn't work. All right, so just saying that you can use the. It, it's neat. They're kind of giving you both. So if you're if you're 
preference is and it's blades you know especially on your clippers or your trimmers and such now you can use those also with a filthy mods blend that comes with the alpha um, you can snap the and this steel blade on there not a cutting blade okay but the advantage of that is so what that allows you to do is if you like using purple guards you use the purple guards if you like using wall guards you keep the blade it came with you're done all right folks that's all i've got we'll get with you next time